the playoffs are nothing like the regular season. They are two completely different sports. The way it's officiated, mm -hmm. the, the way that he's playing 42 minutes uh, in the playoffs. I don't know what he averaged in the regular season when he was playing. So, so your bench is completely different in yeah. the regular season versus the playoffs. Uh, and you can prepare guy, differently. Which, you can prepare differently. Absolutely. You have more time. And you do prepare differently. Yeah. Not only can you, you do. And you better believe Paul listening to Doc as his coach in a regular season back-to-back -back game, he's going in the locker room. He's like, all right, who am I got? You know, in the playoffs, <laughs> he knows exactly what he's doing. Right. And by the way, in the playoffs, his first move is gone. It's like a baseball player that they say, well, here's our scouting report. He cannot hit a curveball away. Mm -hmm. He's getting a curveball away every single pitch. So if they say, Paul, take away his right hand, right hand drive, and the pick and roll are going to blitz, whatever they know he does well is gone. Mm -hmm. So that's where you need to check as many boxes as you can. Even shooters. We played some great shooters in the playoffs and have neutralized them. Because if that's all you can do is shoot the three, then you're not, you're not necessarily the weapon that we sometimes make you out to be in the regular season. That two, in, two feet of space you had in the regular season is two inches. And you watch mm -hmm. how many players cannot make a shot in the playoffs and shoot 42% in the regular season. It's not the same thing. So why does that matter? The more dimensions you have to your game, the harder you are to take away. Shoot the three, get fouled, get to the free throw line, drive to the basket. Well, how am I going to go, Paul? What, what should I have done against Paul Pierce? I'll let him shoot three. No. Um, get, let him go to the rim. No. Foul him. No. Um, keep him off the free throw. You, there, there's too many things he does. Left, right, whatever. Oh, and by the way, let's pick on him defensively. No. That's what makes a Hall of Fame player. So you want as many of those guys as you can. So we can't get too caught up in like, Let's have four shooters. Okay, well, what if those guys can't do anything else, can't guard their right. position? So I think it's more than sometimes we make it out to be. And, and the people here, I assume, are basketball fans. You watch the playoffs, you'll know who can play basketball. That's when you evaluate players. Mm -hmm.